Attention students, welcome back to Breland's Beauty School. In this lesson today, I'll be teaching you how to achieve the perfect makeup, hair, outfit, and nails for your first day. Um, excuse me children, would you please quiet down, quiet down now. Um, would you please, would you just shut up? Okay, thank you darlings. Let's go ahead and get started. Of course, the first thing you have to do is wake up, and I'm just going to be applying my baby lips to keep my lips from drying out like the Sahara Desert. And next is apply your favorite concealer all over your redness, blemishes, and pimple catastrophes. You don't want your face looking like Mars on your first day. Not cool. So next I'm going to be applying my L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. And this foundation feels really light on your face, and I find that it gives pretty good coverage. I would say probably medium coverage. So next, taking my Mineral Hygienics Foundation Powder. I'm just applying a nice coat of this all over my previous foundation to help set it. And next, using my favorite bubblegum pink blush by Dior, I'm applying this to the cherries of my cheeks. And this just gives my face a little color so I don't look like an old crypt keeper that hasn't seen the sunlight in a hundred years. And now I'm just going to be spooling my brows and applying my favorite brow powder with an angled brush. Along with my e.l.f. brow gel to keep those babies in place. I mean, they need to know their place, right? So next, using the Shimmery Cream CoverGirl Eyeshadow, I'm applying this to my inner corners and the bone of my brow. And this will just make you look more awake and less like a sleepy raccoon. So then I'm just applying this beneath my waterline, and next taking the shimmery brown eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this to my outer V to add a little depth and color. Then I'm just applying a little more of that shimmery cream to my brow bone for some extra brightness and awakeness and all that good stuff. I mean, we've been sleeping all summer. We got to look awake, right? Then I just applied a little bit of that brown beneath my waterline as somewhat of an eyeliner because we're not going to be putting on any bottom liner. Next, I like curly fly, curly fly, curly fying my lashes before applying any blackness to my eyes. So using my Maybelline Line Stiletto, I'm just going to be lining my upper lash line. I don't know why I'm talking like this. And I'm going to give it a little wing and try to keep it kind of thin, you know? Remember that raccoon we were talking about earlier? Yeah, not a good look for the first day of school. Now using my Big Eyes Mascara, I'm going to start by using the upper lash wand first, of course, Dubreeland. And this mascara is so awesome and it really gives you that plumpy voluminousness. And now using the lower lash wand, I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes and great job me i know how to read directions now using my smoochies lip balm from cover girl this is gonna give my lips an icy pink base and this is such a pretty color i love it so last using my Stila lip glaze in jolly jolly good sir which is my new favorite nude pink lip gloss i'm just gonna be applying this over the smoochies and you know what we're done hun First, I must remove my duct tape bow headband that I got from bowsforhope.org, and I'll be doing a video on that very soon, so stay tuned for it. So next, brush all of your hair to one side, and just tease it a little bit, and then put it into a side ponytail. Yay! Then just grab a section of your hair from the ponytail, and wrap it around your pony ring just to help camouflage it, and conceal it, and I feel like a spy. Dun 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 dun. So anyway, now just begin braiding small sections of your ponytail and securing with a rubber band, preferably the color of your hair, so that way it'll blend in. Another spy move. So you can braid as many sections as you like, but I'm only braiding three because it gives your ponytail that extra spicy element to really make it look unique. So after you're done, add a cute headband, or in my case, a big, fat, obese bow. And guess what? You're done. And you have a super cute first day of school hairstyle, girl. You go, girl. Almost missed the bus there. So let's talk fashion. For my top, I'm wearing this really cute Paul Frank t-shirt, which was sent to me by the 17 Social Club. And I have to say, this shirt is not only cute and colorful, but really comfy. 
So then I paired the top with a sparkly purple scarf for those cool school days. And for jewelry, I'm wearing some sparkle-tastic arm candy from Rue 21. Now for the nails. I'm totally in love with this new fuzzy coat textured nail polish from Sally Hansen. And this was also sent to me by Seventeen Magazine. And this is in the shade Peach Fuzz. And I love wearing this over bright colors. It really makes them pop. And it's like an interactive nail polish because you can tell all your friends to like touch your nails and feel the rough texture. So back to my outfit. For shoes, I'm wearing these Denim and Stars high top sneakers from Daddy's Money. And they go so great with this outfit. So rewind. Let's go back. Next, I'm wearing these hot pink jeans from Rue 21, and last, these lilac purple heart studs from Rue 21 as well. Okay, so we're now arriving at school. I gotta go or I'll be late for my first day. Yay! So if you try any of the hair and makeup from this video, make sure you post a pic to my Facebook or Instagram or any of my social networks with the hashtag back to school with Breland. So I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful first day. Bye! Love you!